Now when my computer broke and I took it apart for repair, I was able to remove the two and a half inch solid state drive that I had and put it in this USB drive bay. And that really helped because it was allowed me to continue to pay bills and access records from this device just by using another computer and plugging it in via USB. So it was a perfect solution just to be able to get access to my drive. Now this drive isn't necessarily perfect, this case that is, um, it has imperfections and it doesn't really feel the most rugged for if you're going to throw it in a backpack and bang it around, but if all you're going to do is use it as a drive bay to stick it in, plug it into your computer and maybe handle it a little bit carefully, it p simply gives you access to your drive and data. And that's what I needed most out of it and for the price you really can't complain. Uh, but it has imperfections that would, if you're really going to compare it to some really good solutions out there that seem better built and that you might not worry about it if you throw it in a backpack. So let's look at some of the aspects. As for, for example, you'll notice the precision seems a bit different. So um, when I put it in, you'll notice that it, it, the cap wouldn't go on quite right. You'll see I couldn't even put the screw in the other side. I didn't want to bend it too much. Um, I was able to get it in one side just to make sure that um, the thing would stay closed, but otherwise, I mean, honestly, all I needed to do was get at the connectors on this side, and I was able to use it. Uh, basically, it doesn't seem to be a perfect 90 degree angle when it slides into this case, which is why it comes in a little bit crooked. So I'll slide the drive out and show you that. So now you can see that I unscrewed the screw and I'm able to pull it out, but you can see how it it's a little bit crooked. Now, you could say maybe it's the fault of the drive's actual connector being crooked, or it's the fault of this device. Now, this is a, a rather good solid state drive from Intel, which is known for being high quality. So, I tend to give the benefit of the doubt to the Intel drive in this case here. But to be fair, it could be either. Uh, but basically, as you see, how it comes in a little bit crooked. That's the thing that makes it not sit right. And so, I really didn't want to bend my solid state drive. I care much more about that than this. Um, it, more inexpensive USB bay. So that was just one thing to be aware of. So I'm go ahead and slide it out. That's my USB drive. And this connector was just fine. I mean, when it connects to the drive here, it's slide, slid on just fine. You really can't expect a whole lot better. Um, but inside here, it's just an aluminum tin, right? And you'll notice that it even bows in a little bit at the top, if you can kind of see how it's concave a little bit there. Honestly, it doesn't matter because there's some air buffer between your drive and the top anyways. But if you look at this from the side, you see how your drive is going to sit off to one side um, because of the way it connects over here. Um, so on one of the two sides, it's going to be sitting right against the bottom. And on the other side, it leaves a lot of gap. And probably depending on the full size of the drive, it may or may not come into contact with the end, and probably not. So there's no padding in here at all. And obviously, you can't have padding on this side with the thickness here, otherwise it's not even going to fit in here, right? I mean, you could see how when I slid it in, I don't want to drop it in, um, it's really at the bottom. And it gets a little bit caught here because it's getting caught on the other end of this. Um, the, when it's trying to slide into the thickness over here. So let's pop it upside down and then it starts to slide better. But um, you can see it's just a basic tin, but hey, I mean, it's an inexpensive USB bay that pretty much serves its sole purpose to give you this connector and this connector here. Um, otherwise, it's just, uh, this thing is just aluminum. So I thought it was okay. Um, it served the needs, and for the price, I can't complain. But, of course, um, if I was really looking for a robust solution that I could um, use extra 2.5 inch drives that I have laying around that I'd like to just leave at my desk at work, throw in a drawer, maybe I'm going to go to look at something that protects the drive a little bit more and seems a little bit better constructed. Um, but again, it's a choice between price and perfection. Um, and functionality, it, it does work, and that's the number one thing that you're looking for. It comes really well packaged. So this is what you get out of the box here. So of course it comes in a box which I keep so I can keep storing it right back in here with all the parts when I'm done using it. Um, of course the important part of it is this component here which is basically the aluminum tin. Uh, again no padding or anything like that on the inside. Just a basic thing to slide the drive into so you're not, not in direct contact with it. Um, here, This is the um, really most important part here that gives you your USB 
connector and a little LED light that shows drive activity. So this is the thing that pretty much provides all of the functionality that you're looking for. Um, the USB port to the SATA connectors in the back. And of course you connect the SATA connectors to any 2.5 inch SATA drive uh, like you see there. Uh, it's pretty standard. This is really what you're paying for to slide it in. The rest of things are just packaging and tying things together. So this was the aluminum tin just to slide it in um, to hold to. Now they do give you this. Now this is in case your drive has a circuit board exposed on the top that you're able to put it right down and cover the circuit board if it happened to have one exposed. Now mine doesn't, it's concealed on both sides, um, so I didn't need to use this. Um, now it does come with a screwdriver, which is really nice considering the size of their screws were tiny. Um, and these things are really tiny screws. Um, so they give you two screws and basically you're going to use it to screw in on both sides here. And that's how you connect um, this in. Now there's the tiny little screw hole there. Um, and I use it at least, at least get one in there even though they don't line up perfectly for my particular drive in here, um, at least uh, keep it just from accidentally sliding out. So if you're not really toting this around, I mean, honestly, it really doesn't matter a whole lot, right? Um, of course, they give you the next important thing is you don't have to buy your own cable. And there was the interesting aspect of this is one is, of course, you know, here's your connector that connects onto the uh, port here. But then they give you two. Uh, it's a Y cable, right? It has two connectors to USB, too. Now, you only have to use one of them. Um, I just plugged this on in right here without any problems. Uh, but if it's not getting enough power to power the drive, uh, that's where you plug in both of these. So it was nice that they gave you the cable to do that because um, I'd have to hunt around for a store that carried a dual cable and I wouldn't even know that you would be allowed to do that. So uh, this thing probably knows how to draw power from two if it needs to. And then lastly, um, it gives you uh, a little case and it's actually a nice little soft case. Now, I'm a little more concerned that there's no padding inside, you know, I don't know that having the soft on the outside is as important as making sure my drive's not bouncing around the inside, uh, but it is nice. Um, it's surprising they give you all of this on such a value-priced product. And the instructions are decent. Um, they're, um, as far as instructions go, it's with a little bit that you needed to understand. Um, so that's how um, I thought it was useful to explain things like this that I didn't know what it was for at first. So for the price, I mean, honestly, this is, you get a, quite a lot for it, um, but as I showed earlier, it's not a perfect fit. Um, it's not the thing that I would be using as building my own external hard drive that I wanted to tote around with me and uh, keep protected. Well, thanks for watching the review.